guys, so today I have my January 2014 favorites for you guys and I know I haven't uploaded in such a long time, I think it's been like two weeks and I'm not gonna like sit here and give you guys excuses or anything but basically I've just really been busy with school, I feel like January is that month where you're starting off the second semester and um, you know you're coming back from winter break so you have all this new content and stuff so um, that's where I've been but I am back and ready to film my January favorites for you guys. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I guess I'll switch it up this month and start off with the random stuff first and then move on to the beauty stuff last. Um, so my first two random favorites are movies and the first one is Frozen. That movie is absolutely adorable. I actually watched it on New Year's Day this month and I really enjoyed it. So um, I would highly recommend you guys watch it. I thought it was going to be like kiddish and you know cartoony but I actually really liked it and then the second one is She's the Man with Channing Tatum yes Channing Tatum and Amanda Bynes that movie is absolutely hilarious definitely one of my all-time favorites I watched it I think like three times this month and um, I'm absolutely obsessed it's hilarious so um, you guys should definitely check out those two movies and then I also have an app favorite of the month and it's a game which I'm not like a big game player, I guess, um, but I do really like this app and it's called Rayman Run. And um, basically it's just like, you're trying to run and jump and get all these little firefly things in the game. I don't know, it's just really addicting. So I've been playing that all month. And then my two favorite songs would be Timber by Kesha and Pipple, which I think I talked about in my last video, my Q&A video. And then also Say Something, and so I will link those two songs down below if you guys haven't listened to them. I feel like Say Something is a very sad, like, slow song, but I can really relate to it, and I just really like it, and I don't know. So I'll link those two songs below if you guys have not checked them out. And now moving on to all the beauty and fashion goodies. So the first thing that I have is a fashion item and it's actually a pair of leggings. Like when are leggings gonna become pants? Like are they acceptable? I feel like they are. I wear them so much, at least like three times a week. Um, but they look like this. They're just regular like long black leggings or whatever. But the awesome thing about these is the inside of these, they're fuzzy. Like they are super fuzzy and so warm and comfortable. And um, you know, I was just wearing my regular like black leggings which were so paper thin. And then uh, my mom actually introduced me to these and um, she like has a pair and she really likes them. So she got these for me and they are amazing. And so um, it's been really cold here lately. So these leggings are awesome because they're actually like nice and warm and fuzzy on the inside. And she got these from TJ Maxx. I don't know if they still, still sell these, but it's by the brand Just One. Um, so check these out if you have these at your local TJ Maxx because they're amazing and they're only like six or seven dollars. So this has definitely been like my all time favorite fashion item of the month because I wear these at least like three times a week. It's crazy. I love them. So moving on to hair, this month I actually tried out a new conditioner which I really have been loving and it's by Organics and it's the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco Conditioner. Um, I've always wanted to try this and I just finally kind of was starting to run low on all my conditioners and shampoos and stuff. So I picked up this one and I have been loving it. I definitely think it's really nice. It has like a nice, um, almost like vanilla smell to it but it's almost like a little bit citrusy at the same time. I don't know, but I really like it and I definitely think it really moisturizes my hair, keeps it like really nourished and silky and I almost feel like it makes my hair dry faster. I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I've really been liking it and it's around like five or six dollars. So definitely check it out. I just got mine at Target. So moving on to skincare, I have one product and that would be the Clean and Clear Blackhead Eraser Scrub. And my dad actually gave this to me because he wasn't using it, I don't know. And so he gave this to me and I have been loving it. I definitely can see a significant difference. Um, I just have like a couple blackheads maybe like in between my eyebrows and on the tip of my nose and stuff like that. And I've really been liking this. I've been using it maybe like once a day or once every two days whenever I feel like I need some extra black heady racing power I don't know so um I just really like it 
and I feel like it's more of a cream than a cleanser. Um, this is what it looks like. It's like a lotion-y type product. So, um, yeah, I really like this, and it actually does exfoliate as well. I used it this morning, and I really like it. So definitely check it out if you guys struggle with blackheads. So now moving on to all the makeup items. So the first thing is a new concealer that I have discovered this month. And um, I actually did a foundation routine at the beginning of this month and I actually discovered like a new concealer and a new way that I like to apply my foundation. So um, I kind of feel really bad because I sort of changed up my foundation routine, but maybe I'll do like an updated one um, in a couple months or something, I don't know. but. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have been absolutely loving this. I wear it under my eyes and on any like blemishes and stuff and I just think it's a really great concealer to put over foundation. Um, and I have the shade 15 Fair, which I believe is like the lightest or the second lightest. I always go a couple shades lighter in concealer um, because, you know, I want to brighten up the area like under my eyes and stuff like that. So I don't know. I've just really been liking it. It's around $7, I think, and it's super creamy. And um, I think it's a great concealer. So definitely um, check this out and I would highly recommend it. And then also kind of going along with my new foundation routine and stuff. Um, is a sponge, and this is the Beauty Blender Dupe, I guess. I got this at Ulta, um, like in those little bins that they have around the checkout line. Um, it's like this purple color, and as you guys can see, I've definitely been using it a ton, um, and I just really love this. It's a little moist, actually. It's a little damp because you're supposed to run this underwater, squeeze out the excess water, and then use it to apply your foundation. And so I just did my makeup because I'm filming this video in the morning, so, um, yeah, it's a little wet, but I just love this so much. I think it gives such a natural finish to the skin, and um, you really can't tell that you're wearing makeup at all. So I really like it, and I use the um, bottom of it like on my cheeks and on my forehead, and then the little tip like around my nose and my mouth and under my eyes and stuff like that. So really highly recommend it. It was around like $6. I don't know the brand. Um, it just said like precision blending sponge or something like that. So next I have a lip product and I think I've talked about these before in maybe like one or two videos of mine, but I have another NYX Butter Gloss. What a surprise. I'm absolutely obsessed with these and I love them. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. It's just a really naturally like rosy nude and I absolutely love this. This was actually um, a recommendation and I'm so glad I bought this. I love the formula as I do with all my other butter glosses. I kind of want every single color. If you follow me on Twitter, you know it, you know, I tweet about these all the time because I love them. I'm obsessed. Definitely one of my favorite lip gloss formulas and the color is absolutely amazing. So definitely check this lip gloss out. And then my last beauty favorite is a MAC Paint Pot, which is was kind of a rediscovery for me because I've had this for so long. But this is the MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. It's just a gorgeous, light, nude, champagne-y, shimmery shade. And I just felt like with my regular primer, my eyeshadows were creasing a little. So I decided to start wearing um, paint pots like under them and it completely lasts the whole day. Definitely makes a huge difference. So um, I kind of got back into this and this was definitely a rediscovery for me in my makeup collection. So I'm glad I found it and I'm glad I've been using it and I've been using it every single day under every single eye look. I'm wearing it today under these eyeshadows and I'm just obsessed with it. So definitely been loving that. And that concludes my January 2014 favorites like I'm kind of glad January's over just because it's always that like worst month of the year, at least for me. It's kind of like post Christmas depression uh, or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm kind of glad this month is over and I'm super excited about February because I get my braces off, which is so exciting. I get them off on the 12th and I am just beyond excited. I kind of just want to take pliers and rip them off right now. Once again, if you follow me on Twitter, you guys know all about my braces story, but I'm just ready to get them off and if you guys want like a braces experience video, comment down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys once I get them off in February. But um, yeah, overall I'm just really excited for the upcoming month and I guess I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I will talk to you guys in February. Mwah! Bye everyone!